فلک اختیار سے جس نے حسن حسین کی خواہش کے واسطے آیات لانے والے کو آیات لانے والے کو درزی بنا دیا ہاں وہ ہے فاطمہ کی ہے قسم دنیا میں میر کوئی نہیں اس سے محترم وہ جس کے احترام رسول اللہ لکھ ٹوارڈ دس کائی اور سمائل اور سید او مائی لارڈ او ایور ایز ہاپی اور دا ارائی ولا سہرا آئی محمد آئی بیر ویٹنس دت آئی ایم بلیف ویڈ دت پرسن ہو ایم بلیف
Nabuwat and Imamat. We have two orders from Allah Azawajal. Now the Fazilat of Fatima to Zahra is this, that on one side we have the Nabuwat of all the Prophets of Allah, from Adam to Isa and to Khatim al-Anbiya, all 124,000 Prophets of Allah are on one side. This is known as Nabuwat. And then we have Imamat from Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib to Imam Hassan al-Mustafa to Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam to Imam Zayn al-Abadeen to Imam Hassan al-Askari to Imam Mahdi until Allah Farid al-Sharif. On one side we have Nabuwat, on one side we have Imamat, the person that Allah has sent with the responsibility to contact Nabuwat and Imamat together is Fatima al Zahra. The person that Allah has chosen, the person that Allah has given us, the nur, the rahmat that Allah has given us, that contact, contacts together, joins together, nabuwat and imamat, is false. Fatima al Zahra is the bridge in between nabuwat and imamat. If you want to understand nabuwat, we need to look at Fatima to Zahra. If we want to understand the Imamat, we need to look at Fatima to Zahra. Because she is Rahmat. The Prophet of Islam sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, Can we have a loud salvat please? Allah! The Prophet says that if Allah blesses you with a son, he is ni'mat for you. He is a blessing for you. And if Allah Azzawajal gives you a daughter, she is a rahmat for you. She is a mercy for you. What is the fazil of Fatima to Zahra? People ask. And I don't understand why people are still confused 1400 years later and they say that we still can't understand who Fatima to Zahra is. A son is a ni'mat from Allah. A daughter is a rahmat from Allah. Who is Fatima to Zahra, you ask? She is that blessed person from Allah Azawajal. Every single person's daughter is a rahmat for that person. Fatima to Zahra is that personality, is that blessed being from Allah who is a rahmat for rahmatul ilalami. Daughter, then look at the seerat and the life of Fatima to Zahra. 
This is called Yusuf Zohra. Like every year, and Alhamdulillah, this year, as well in this Imam Baza Husaynia, you had a Khamsa for Fatima to Zahra. We need to tell the world who Fatima to Zahra is. We want the world to ask us who Fatima to Zahra is. Because if they understand what is the purpose of Fatima to Zahra, as I said, Fatima to Zahra is the link between Nabuvat and Imamat. Why is it that people attack Fatima to Zahra? Why is it that people doubt the Taharat of Fatima to Zahra? Why is it that people doubt the Fazilat of Fatima to Zahra? Why is it that people try, try people, not Allah, people try to bring down the Fazilat of Fatima to Zahra? Because these people who are trying to do this understand that if we want Nabuvat and Imam to stay connected, we have Fatima to Zahra. They think they are mistaken that if we try to bring down the Fazilat of Fatima to Zahra, they are confused. They are not just trying to downgrade Imam, but at the same time they are doubting the Nabuvat of Rasulullah. Not just Imam. But if you don't understand who Fatima to Zahra is, how can you understand the Nabuvat of Rasulullah? How can you understand? The Vilayat of Aim And this is why Alama Iqbal said in a Persian poem, he says, Maryam as yik nisbat Isa Aziz. Maryam as yik nisbat Isa Aziz. As say Hazrat Zahra Aziz. He's reminding the world. Who is the Lama Iqbal? Who is he? Did Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib wasalam, give Alama Iqbal guidance? Did he understood what Imamat is? It is our belief that he knew what is the difference between Imamat and Nabuvat. He knew very well what is the connection between Nabuvat and Imamat. That's why Alama Iqbal says, Maryam as yik nisbat. Isa, yik means one. Maryam as yik nisbat Isa. Aziz as say hazrat zahra Aziz. Maryam has one nisbat. And that's why she is respected. That's why she is known throughout the world. What is that nisbat? Maryam has the nisbat that she is the mother of Isa. Maryam has one nisbat that she is the mother of Isa. Janab Sayyida, Tahira, Fatima, Marfiya, Sadiqa. She has three nisbat. And that's why she is Aziz. Now these are my last words and I leave you today. What are those three nisbat? Why Hazrat Zahra is more Aziz than Maryam? Why is Hazrat Zahra? Why does she have more authority than any other woman that has stepped foot in this world? The first and most nisbat that Zahra has is she is the daughter of Hatmul Anbiya, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa. Isa was an Ummati Prophet. He was a follower of Rasulullah. He led the Ummah of Rasulullah. From Adam to Isa, every single Prophet, until they did not believe. In the Risalat of Rasulullah, Allah did not bless them with Nabuvat. They wasn't given prophethood if they did not believe in the last prophet of Islam. And Fatima is that personality who is the daughter of Rasulullah. What is the second nisbat that Fatima to Zahra has? The second nisbat is that she is the wife of Amir al Mu'mineen. Ali ibn Abi Talib. The first nisbat she has is she is the 
daughter of Rasulullah. The second nisbah she has is that she is the wife of Amir al-Mu'maneen. And the third nisbah that she has, that every single person in this world, he's looking for Jannah, he's looking for paradise, he's reading Namaz, he's reading Quran, he's reading Ziyanat, he's doing Ibadat, he's going to the Jashan, he's going to the Imam Baga. Why? Because he wants Jannah, he wants paradise. What is the third nisbah of Fatima to Zahra? That she is the mother of those people who are the leaders of the youth of paradise. She is the mother of Imam Hassan and Hussein. Every single person knows that Jannah, Jannah is in the feet of those mothers. Every single person looks towards paradise.